Hello, YouTube subscribers, supporters, lookers. This is the Yaya and Stacy channel, and this is our first YouTube video uh, amongst many to come. Uh, the first one's going to be about how we met. So we're a married couple. We've been married five years. Yes, so, baby. Okay, five <laughs> years. <laughs> together six married five and uh we'll tell you about our beginning how we met and <clears throat> some struggles some wins and uh some challenges and some triumphs and uh um, yeah you want to kick it off well if we start from the beginning with how we met we met at um a company that I work for. He was working a contract job and there was this guy there who was trying to play matchmaker. And so I kind of went to that guy and questioned about who this new guy was. And he kind of gave me some background. But then he came over to my floor and had to work on a computer. <coughs> and okay. I kind of made myself present so he could see me. And he kind of did a quick glimpse. Right. And then I guess he saw what he liked. And a few minutes later, dashed in my workstation, gave me his phone number, and dashed right back out. <laughs> gave you a card. You gave me a card. On the back it said, call me tonight. And yeah. it's been me and you ever since. Yeah, yeah. So we, we started dating. Well, we would meet <clears throat> in the lunchroom. Well, I was only there for about two weeks. Yeah, uh, two weeks exactly. Yeah, I had a had a falling out. <clears throat> you know, I wasn't used to corporate America anymore. I got back into corporate America uh, on that contract because uh, I had to get back into it. But I was doing my own thing for a couple of years, entrepreneur. I had my own business. I was doing my own thing, and so uh, some things got tight. So I get back in the workforce. <clears throat> and so that was my first job back into the workforce. So if you've ever been an entrepreneur for a few years and you're trying to get back into the workforce, you know, you're not used to being talked to a certain way or, uh, you know, you're just not used to answering to anyone. So it took me a while to adapt. And so, you know, I had a little <clears throat> back and forth with one of the, the guys and they let me know, hey, we uh, we won't be needing you. <laughs> so it is what it is you had a feeling though because you told me that night before you said I I don't think I'll be there tomorrow right right. I knew I knew it was going to make a call to the uh, to the consultant sorry to the consulting office <clears throat> so and that's that's what that was but before that happened I guess for about a week or two we would meet in the cafeteria every day and chop it up yeah and chop it up mm -hmm. and uh but then went on a couple of dates. And so, yeah, so that's how we start courting. That's how we met. That's how we started courting. And, that's uh, it. Yeah, so even when <clears throat> I was released, we spent a lot of time together. You would come out to my place. A red cup time. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we drink. <laughs> we drink, too. So you would come out to my place with the kids. That's two kids. Y'all was spending the weekend with me. Uh, sometimes coming on Friday, leaving on Monday, just depending. Yeah. So we spent a lot of time together. Uh, my kids spent a lot of time around her. <clears throat> and just uh, Her kids around me, it was a, a blended family. So we were cool. Everything was working out. Uh, until. <laughs> what was the turning point? Until, well, we went to Louisiana, met my family, mm -hmm. and opinions were developed because, you know, <coughs> you're just very cut to the chase, no sugar coating. I don't kiss ass. Right. So. Right. That turned your mom off. Right, because she felt like... I should be she, she, kissing up to her, basically. Well, yeah, like 
the approval should have been there first before you and I decided to get married. But you already had kids. Right. And you grown. Right. And then we, he pretty much said, you know, we're getting married. I'm going to marry your daughter. And she's like, well, do you think you need my approval? Did she say it like that? Well, <clears throat> well, she said, I'm glad you came down so we can meet you. So you can get our approval. And I said, <laughs> I would love your approval, but we're getting but, married anyway. Regardless. Regardless. And I wasn't trying to be facetious or mean or sarcastic or anything. I was just, uh, that's the truth. And, you know, very direct. And, uh, you know, it was different. Two different cultures, too. That one. Yeah. <clears throat> she's country. She's from the country. You're about to say I'm country. You are from the country. <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from a big city. She's from a small town. So it's different cultures. And a different way of doing things, too. She comes from a two-parent home, <clears throat> small town. <clears throat> I come from a single mother. Big town, big big city. So, you know, two different ways of doing things. Uh, I wouldn't say one is wrong or right, but just a failure of communication. Right. Yeah. Right. Before getting to know you. Right. Before getting to know me. Right. And, and, and I didn't get to know her really either. Right. So... You know, if I, uh, I don't know, I guess if I had a better respect of the tradition, <clears throat> even still, I feel like you was a grown woman. Why would I need your parents' approval? Uh, but anyway, if I had a different understanding of the tradition of a small town, I probably would have handled it differently. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, from that point. And then on my side, <clears throat> once I announced that I was getting married, my kids' moms had a problem. Uh, start playing games with the kids, uh, not releasing them, or, you know, just crazy stuff. So we're going through things on both sides because we're getting married. Right. Uh, they, on my side, it was jealousy or bitterness. Your side, <coughs> your side was. <coughs> I think maybe your parents felt like they were losing control or say so. Right. Yeah, because you, you're depending on them a lot. I did. <clears throat> For little things. Right. And then you come in the picture and I don't need right. to ask for anything. You right. know, you made sure everything was taken care of and that was different. Yeah, that was that was different for them. Uh, your dad and your mom. But so. under normal circumstances, you would think... They would applaud that. Right. Like, man, she got a full man. A whole man. They're coming in. <laughs> taking you say a take, whole man. A whole man. <laughs> coming in, taking care of business. Right. And uh, she ain't got to ask us for nothing anymore. Yeah. You would think that would be applauded. Right. You know. So, uh, you think it would be applauded that my kids loved you. True. You think their moms would applaud that. That that was good. That was a good vibe <clears throat> in, a, uh, in a tight union. Exactly. And they, they love you. So right. you think they'll be applauded that, you know, they know the kids been taken care of when they over there. Right. So, <clears throat> but that wasn't the case. So, uh, yeah, we ran into a lot of stuff I'm talking about on both sides, court dealings. Uh, lots of money being shelved out, time, tears, uh, stress, um, so we went through a lot, and uh, yeah, but through it, and that's 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 just the first year. Just the first year. Yeah, that's just the first. That's the first year. Yeah, first year, even affected how we wanted to do our wedding. You know. Yeah. First year, <clears throat> and so yeah, that's that's some of the the challenges 